I'm Charles. I'm 55 years old. I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled, weigh about 230 pounds. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the steps I had to take, the part of the process of learning to walk. And uh, uh, first off, when you're starting a rehab and things like that, you're at a rehab facility and they have uh, things like parallel bars and uh, to, to train you how to walk. And uh, to me, I find that it's really easy to walk, uh, was easy to learn to walk in parallel bars. And I don't have parallel bars at home, so I had to use a walker at home. And I'm suspecting that most people are in the same situation. They're not in a position that they can install parallel bars anywhere in their house. So um, one of the main things that I discovered when it comes to learning to walk once I've got uh, prosthetic legs using this walker is, and I've seen this with lots of other people too when I've been out and about with other uh, uh, amputees who are still trying to learn to walk, is that people when they're on the walker or using the walker, they tend to lean on the walker and bend forward and use the walker for weight and support as opposed to just balance. Now the problem, of course, as you could probably tell, that my center of gravity is way forward of my feet. That's not the way I want to have it. I'm not ever really going to learn to walk well that way. I may get um, some good mobility, but I'm not going to learn to walk on my own if I'm leaning and using the walker as support. So, uh, what I've discovered for myself the big trick with this is you got, uh, for me, what I learned to do is I need to walk into the walker, which means I will move the walker forward and then I will step up and go through and move it forward as I go through, not move it forward leaning into it, but I'll walk into the walker and move it forward and then take another step into the walker. That makes all the difference in the world as far as having my balance centered over my body and uh, eventually learning how to walk properly.